Ranking the best outside linebackers in Madden 24. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be doing our first updated outside linebacker tier list of Madden 24. Now, before we get into the new cards, we are going to go ahead and re-rank the old cards. I think everyone but LT is going to come down a singular tier for me. And this is what the new tier list is looking like. No one in S pass coverage and no one in A pass rush for me yet. And the first card of the video right here, we got EJ Speed. So EJ Speed, six foot four height. We love that. But linebackers need that learning ability to animate or he needs to be a good pass rusher is 80 speed 83 acceleration uh change direction really really low you're gonna notice that's kind of like a trend amongst linebackers offers you no pass rush and no manner zone i hate when they do cards like this and i swear it's always the colts linebackers it used to be shaquille leonard back in like madden 22 madden 21 now it's ej speed and zaire franklin who they sat like that not even really a good run defender either i don't even know how this card is a basically i really don't and we look at traits he has no pass rush traits on yes either doesn't get any abilities this is just one of the worst cards in the game period uh for me definitely going in the f tier and speaking of colts linebackers we got zaire franklin right here again 80 speed 83 acceleration this time though they don't usually do this like if i pull up his 77 card he has 50 uh what's it called power moves but now he has 84 and that is a very big jump for plus five overall. So they're starting to see like, hey, we, we're kind of making some of these linebackers unusable. And with how good Zaire Franklin has been playing in real life, I, I like that he got a little bit of respect, but 84 power moves, 80 block shed, 74 impact blocking, no manner zone though. And they screwed him over with traits. While the 84 power moves is really, really good. We like to see that. That's He can do something on the football field, right? What if I told you because of his traits, he can't. No bull rush trade on yes, only the swim move trade on yes. What that means is he's not going to use the 84 power move rating. He's only going to use this 63 finesse move rating it is just sad it's kind of sad they need to fix his traits as well or he's going to stay in the f tier for me and we get our first demarcus Ware card of the video right here 82 overall demarcus Ware, 81 speed 83 acceleration six foot four 83 finesse moves 77 power moves 82 block shit 83 impact blocking overall pretty solid budget pass rusher right here currently going for around a 20k and he has the same traits as his 88 overall every single pass rush trait on yes I like him. I think he's a very solid option, you know, like a pretty solid budget pass rusher for me. Going to go in the C tier. And right after that, we get Denzel Perryman, 5'11 height, 80 speed, 83 acceleration, has good like impact blocking and pursuit, I guess, but no pass rush, no manner zone. So kind of like what I was saying about EJ speed. What does he do good on the football field? And the, the answer is nothing. Like he really doesn't do anything good. So for me, Denzel Perryman going to go in the F tier. After that, we get Frank Clark right here with 78 speed, 83 acceleration, 80 play rec, has 77 finesse moves, 82 power moves, pretty decent stats, 79 block shit, 82 impact blocking. And from a trade standpoint, has every single pass rush trait on yes. I think he is very similar to the 82 DeMarcus where we already covered. So for me, he's going right by him. Um, I like him. I think again, Again, these two are some pretty nice budget options. Now we get team of the week, Caleb Murphy right here, 85 overall with 82 speed, 85 acceleration. Has little to no pass rush, like 75, 71, not really too good, especially when you don't have a singular 80. So I don't love his pass rush, uh, 85 block shit, 80 impact blocking. And from a trade standpoint, bull rush and swim move on, yes. And now that he's an 85 overall, uh, he still doesn't get that tier two bucket. So just like things like swim club, stuff like that, that really doesn't do anything crazy. For me, this card is F or D. I'm just gonna put him in the F tier, man. Not hitting 80 for a pass rush is super, super rough. I'm gonna lean F tier. Now we get 85 overall. Demarcus Ware right here with 83 speed, 85 acceleration, has 86 finesse moves this time, 81 power moves, 86 block shed, 87 impact blocking. And also again, same exact traits we already covered. He's also going for around 50K. And if we take a look at his abilities this time, again, just the tier one spot. For me, this DeMarcus Ware card is actually going to go ahead and start our A pass rush tier. I like him more than everyone in this B tier. And again, I think he is a really, really nice alternative to his uh, highest overall card, his 88. After that, we get Tavius Robinson right here with 83 speed, 87 acceleration. Has pretty good uh, physical stats. Really high power moves with that 85. 80 block shit, 82 impact blocking. If we take a look at his traits though, they do the right, like it's the opposite of the Colts, man. They do the Ravens linebackers so good. Only the bull rush trade on yes. 
So what that means is he's not gonna use his finesse moves, only the 85 power moves, very, very similar to Odefa Owe. And that's exactly where I'm gonna have a man, right by uh, Odefa Owe right here in this uh, B pass rush tier. Really like the card, and he can be more like top end as well, but I think he is a really solid rusher in the game. Right after that, we get BJ Uluwarie, 84 speed, 82 acceleration, has really high finesse moves this time with 85, no block shed and no impact blocking. I hate these three ratings but he has decent finesse moves. And if we take a look at his traits, right? Only the finesse move rating is on yes. So yes, he's only gonna use this finesse move like the spin and the swim move trait. The power moves we don't have to look at, but block shit and impact blocking, he is terrible in the run game. Very, very bad. Also, of course, no mana zone. So for me, this card is, I'm gonna put him C. The block shit and impact blocking is what keeps him from B tier in my opinion, but I do like him as a strict pass rusher. Bud Dupree right here, 83 speed, 85 acceleration, has really high power moves with 86. Decent block shed, decent impact blocking, and this time for traits as the bull rush and the swim move trade on yes. So he's gonna use both his power moves and finesse moves. For me, he's going right by uh, BJ Uluwarie, and the reason for that is it's kind of like he's terrible in the run game. His uh, pass game definitely takes a hit with having both traits on yes, so I don't mind them being right by each other. After that, we get 86 overall, Dennis Gardek. 84 speed, 86 acceleration, has 87 finesse moves really, really high. The block shit, a little bit lower. Also, the impact blocking 84 is fine. And if we take a look at his traits, only the swim move trait on yes, so again, only going to use this 87 finesse move rating. And then an 86 overall unlocks his tier 2 bucket right here. Now, does he get anything great? No, not really. But yeah, I think this card is actually... Pretty, pretty solid. Don't love his like block shit and stuff. I think he's a B tier rusher though. Kind of like the finesse move version of Tavius Robinson and Odefa Owe. And right after that, we get Preston Smith with 81 speed, 86 acceleration. Has really low finesse moves, really good power moves though with 88, 83 block shed, 7 to 1 impact blocking. If we take a look at his trades, bull rush and swim move on yes. So he is going to use both these ratings right here. And really, that's the thing that affects this card. If he only would have had the power moves on, yes, could see the argument for A. But because he doesn't, I'm going to put him in the B tier. And now we get Demarcus Ware's full card right here with 86 speed, 89 acceleration, 90 finesse moves, 84 power moves, 89 block shed, 91 impact blocking. Again, has same traits, every single pass rush trade on yes. And from an ability perspective, gets edge threat and unpredictable right here. Probably the, the two best abilities for a defensive lineman. And they really aren't that great, I'll be honest. But um, Demarcus Ware right here, uh, of course, going to go in the S tier gonna go in the S tier with LT right here. I think these two guys are beastly pass rushers. And right after that, we got MCS Micah Parsons right here. You could have got this card potentially for free. If you didn't get him and you want the next MCS card, the next tournament is coming up here soon. Make sure to have your EA and your Twitch account linked. And then when the MCS broadcast is live, all you gotta do is watch and claim your drop. Now he's 87 speed, 88 acceleration, six foot three, great finesse moves, power moves are still good, great block shed, and also from a trait standpoint, has every single pass rush trait on yes, and can get unpredictable as an ability. I love this Micah Parsons card for me. He uh, also ignored the fact that there's two of them right there. Did not mean to do that, but Micah Parsons for me, easy yes here. Yeah, I could see the argument for any three of these guys being number one. And right after that, we get Daniil Hunter with 85 speed, 88 acceleration, has 89 finesse moves, 79 power moves, 83 block shit, 85 impact blocking. And from a trade standpoint, has the bull rush and the swim move trade on yes. And if we take a look at his abilities this time, can get unpredictable. I just think he is a tier worse than the rushers we already covered. For me, Daniil Hunter is going in this A tier, and I'm going to drop this DeMarcus Ware down into B. And right after that, we get Shaq Barrett with 85 speed, 84 acceleration, 88 play rec, has 91 finesse moves with 90 block shed, 87 impact block. And the reason I didn't talk about his power moves is he only has the finesse move traits on yes. I think this Shaq Barrett card is criminally slept on. I really, really do. And also from an ability perspective, gets things like the edge strike. It's unpredictable. Again, I know they're not that good, but I just wanted to go over it. Uh, for me, Shaq Barrett is actually a sneaky addition to the S tier. And I'm just gonna move 85 to Marcus Ware up to, with the Neil Hunter. The Neil Hunter is in a very weird spot for me. Like I could put him just S tier, but I think all four of these guys are better. I think he's better than this 85 DeMarcus Ware, but I think 85 DeMarcus Ware is better than everyone in this B tier. And final card of the video right here, we got legend Dave Robinson with 88 speed, 85 acceleration, no pass rush, but has 90 man, 90 zone. This is by far and away the best pass coverage linebacker in the game, not even close. And from a trace perspective, also has play ball and air aggressive. Do you know how rare that is for linebackers? Very, very rare. And from an ability perspective, he can go ahead and get that lurker ability. If you are rocking pass coverage linebackers, he has to be 
on your field. He's by far and away the best one in the game. So he is an easy addition to S pass coverage here. But yeah, y'all, this has been my thoughts on the outside linebacker position in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? Now, if you guys did enjoy this video, you enjoy content like this, want to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Now, if you guys want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch with the follow. We have been grinding the streams over there, so I would greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch and you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. I ranked the best middle linebackers in Madden 24.